Hello, beautifuls. Welcome back to my Chanel. Hello, little biscuit. How are you doing, my lovely? Are you enjoying the sunshine and the warmth for a nice change, even though it's summer in England? So, my lovelies, welcome back to another episode of Wife Swap New Zealand, girls. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This show has been a roller coaster. We've seen some examples of people that I would not like to socialize with. We've seen some examples of people that I would like to socialize with. And the last episode of this show was so respectful and well done that I'm genuinely gagged that it came from a show like this. But I'm also very, very, very glad that it did because a lot of you guys also felt the same way, sharing your own personal stories in the comments. So after that video went live, I was actually tagged in a post on Facebook on Simone's wall, and she's actually been through a huge personal development after getting her gastric surgery, and she's actually had a really thriving life after appearing on the show. How many times can you hear that on this Chanel, my lovelies, with the type of reality TV shows that we watch? How many times? So my lovelies, I am actually away from London right now, so this is being pre-filmed for your viewing content. Isn't that right, little biscuit? You're gonna go and stay with your auntie, and you're gonna enjoy the back garden screaming at pigeons. My little biscuit boy. One of the top comments on the last episode of Wife Swap New Zealand Girls was by Dirty Uncle Owen. Are you that sort? And they say, as heavy as this could have been, I have to say this is the most positive episode we've seen. Completely agree. It was actually really nice to see a TV show like this do it in such a positive, well-rounded way, because it could have easily gone in all sorts of different directions, especially if it was made maybe 10 years earlier. Although there were a couple of production moments, I feel like that's the case in any of these shows that we watch, it was actually very tame and well done. So that does actually open up the question, what on earth are we gonna see today, my lovelies, in Why Swap New Zealand, girls? I'm very, very, very excited because this series is so unpredictable, episode to episode, an emotional roller coaster, but it's the kind of coaster that when you get on the ride, you don't really know where you are, and you don't really know what's going to happen, and you don't even know where you're gonna end up. With that being said, my lovelies, as I said earlier, I really don't know what we're going to expect today. So today is episode four. These episodes don't have titles, as far as I can tell. So, are you ready, my loves? Grab yourself a beverage. Today I am again on the Pepsi Max drunk from the skull of my enemies. Isn't that right, Biscuit? You're really, you're really low energy today. You're just not in the mood. Not in the mood for all this. But what you can do is go and sit on your pillow if you like. And you can have a nice little rest and maybe a little chew toy. Yes, yes. Does that sound good? Chicken? All right, my loves, pop your arhanger right into your little New Zealand hole and let's watch Wife Swap New Zealand. Tonight on Wife Swap, Tonight, this girls. family is Christian. <gasps> this one agnostic. This family oh, has a child. Um, this one has enormous fur babies. Dogs and gays. Hooray! Everyone's a winner. On Wife Swap New Zealand. On Wife Swap, girls. Oh my goodness, what's going to happen today? Meet the Solankis. This Solankis. is 11-year-old Sid, entrepreneur Shirag's the dad, and here's An mum, community volunteer Ru RuPaul. <laughs> community volunteer RuPaul. We had an arranged marriage, so we didn't know each other. Mm. I was selected by my mother-in-law. She pestered him that he should get married to me and he should take me out for a cup of coffee to know more and about it. I said no, so she threw a shoe polish brush onto me. <laughs> she was so very upset, to. yeah, so she, he had to, and that's how we met for the second time. So 1st October, we saw each other. 3rd October, we met for coffee. 9th mm. October, we got engaged. 14th October, we got married. Right. And 17th October, he was in New Zealand. And then we had a son into the... That's fast. No, regardless of what your opinions are on arranged marriage, personally, I think we should be able to choose freely who we wish to marry and who we wish to involve in our lives in any capacity. That is kind of quick to get married, no? So we're a family of three. Family and we've got three. a darling cat yeah. named Rexy. So that's us. Rupal oh. is the one who looks after Sidraj. 24-7, I should say. Yeah. I just enjoy her. She's the one who looks after She's a go-getting mum with it all. Kind, yeah, she's really um, helpful for others. She gives a lot and she would take care of someone. For Sidraj, he is born in a <laughs> Christian family. Girls. He knows about Jesus, but he needs to respect what others are thinking or what their beliefs are. Not be shocked one fine day, oh, I was in this small world, small space with these type of people and I thought the world is full of them, but no. Ah. 
So we do a lot of Christian. activities. And this is a room where we also... I must have missed that earlier. ...play squash, but with only one wall. And then you just go with a uh, triple tennis bat and a triple tennis ball. And tell you, in 20 minutes, we are sweating. Yeah. Wait, oh. they have a squash room in their house? With a television in the room? That sounds like danger to me, girls. We do theatre together. We they put do things together, together as of directing or what else should be done and things like that. And they are women of the theatre, girls. Spend our time alone when we have to talk. Honeymoon. Honeymoon! My life is my husband and my son. So I'm hoping to just get out and of my routine, to be honest. Kids. So I think we are just stepping out of the comfort zone to experience something Oh, yes, quite uh, out of the different. comfort zone. Two giant dogs. The Withers Borwicks. Gary's the a business owner. This is great Dane Luther. <gasps> Lily's the pup. And here's ex-dancer John, a personal trainer. Oh, 28 years... Look at that beautiful Great Dane. I couldn't possibly have a large dog simply because they require, A, a huge amount of exercise, which is not very fitting with my lifestyle living in an apartment, B, a lot of food, and C, they produced uh, large volumes of waste, shall we say. Feces! Don't have any time for all that, girls! The go? Was it love at first sight? I think maybe... No. Ooh. He stalked me. I was going to leave my cat under his door. <laughs> <laughs> but he didn't. He did. Because I, I heard did. a noise at the... Uh, I heard a noise at the door, so I opened the door and he fell through <laughs> into the hallway. <laughs> and that's how it all started. Oh, that's kind Our of sweet. Our household is two dogs and one cat. That is beautiful Two house. dogs are easier than one. We've had up to six. Mm. The size of that living room slash open plan kitchen diner with an island and places to dine and entertain. Oh, why do I live in London? I am never going to financially recover from this. Luther is, he's just turned two years of age. He's crazy, but he's lovely. He's huge, the size yes. of that foot. And Lily, who only arrived four, uh, weeks, four, uh, weeks, four ago. weeks ago, she's oh, as sweet as anything baby. in my spare time. She I'm involved with... What would you do if you saw a Great Dane biscuit? Probably just immediately be like... Ah, 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 ah. I'm calling the police. The dogs. I judge dogs. I exhibit dogs. Ah, he's Hopefully a show. Hopefully you like, she like dogs. I'm sure she'll enjoy picking up their poos and wiping their slobber. No. Won't she? No. I love feeding everybody. It's that Polynesian background oh. that I have. So it's all about nurturing. Food. You see, I, I, I don't care. Family I and the kitchen. I bought once, burnt it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over nurtured. <laughs> <laughs> I do wonder how they choose these scenes from like a production point of view to put in as like, this is what these well-rounded people do. Why was the other family involved just being like, well, we play squash in the living room and here it's like, I cook and we have a scene of my saucepan cooking. Do I have more to love? Who's having a drink? Do yeah. you want one? I'll really have one. 17 Possibly shots of vodka. Bottoms up and the double laps. Any sort of homophobic problems that could be an issue, especially if there are children and if they're not aware or have been channeled to think a certain way. I'm quite a sensitive person. Oh, it could be quite explosive, couldn't it? Religion doesn't have the best track history with a homosexual. Are you homosexual? And wouldn't want to show those feelings, but I'd probably go to my bedroom and have a big ball. I'm sure oh. I'll cope. You will. You John's will. the wife. Phobia is so Not the wife, so. <laughs> I think it'd be really intriguing just to see where I'm going to be placed and the dynamics from that point. Oh, he's really the wife in this concept. <laughs> oh, that's fun. It's like that age old question that straight people used to ask gay people all the time. It's like, well, so who's the girl? It's like, well, the point is there isn't one. Use your imagination, sis. Just got to go with the flow and, and... Go with the flow. I'm just really laid back, quirky. Got to be mad twerky, girls. Looking to leave. Right. Mixed emotions. I'm a bit pampered at my house, like getting my morning tea and getting certain things done by my husband. So I'm not sure what I'm looking forward to. Is having to. a morning and tea pampering? Yeah. Or is that baseline? And staying away from my son. That's the hardest. I like I think it's just going to be pretty cool. I'm sorry. Bijou, beautiful, gorgina girls. Pussy. Pussy. <laughs> and if it isn't, then you just have to deal with it. You know? It's all about communicating and, um, and respecting whoever I'm going to be living with. Yes. Tea. Oh, my God. I wonder if this woman had any stretch of the imagination that they should be swapping, like, wives with a homosexual couple. Or I assume they're homosexual. They might both be bisexual. We don't know. We haven't been told. I can't think of another instance that we've actually seen something like this on the Chanel. I feel like any instance of, like, gay representation we get is usually from the modelling shows, and it's not always the best. Although, who else did wife swap? I know that Pete Burns did wife swap, so that's technically, like, 
similar sort of idea, but Peter's a different entity entirely, really, isn't he? I want that coat back within the next two hours. Everything is on my phone. My whole planner, my events. It's like cutting my life short. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pictures, I need to take some selfies and, oh my God, how can I survive without Facebook? People will wonder where oh, I'm, not I've been face. lost. Mum, did you remember to pack a photograph of me? No, but I've got a couple of other animals. That'll do. <laughs> This bijou house. There's one thing that Rupal and John have insisted on packing. Oh, what's that? So these are the spices for a complete Indian recipe for an Indian curry. I'm just taking okay. it in case I can cook and let them taste my kind of cuisine and see what I eat. Okay. What's in this box? A dead body. I know it! A few condiments. I can't bear to be without... Look. Interesting. That, that, that whole box looks very keto. X, 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 I wanna say it. Excuse me, I will not have that. Thank you very much. Goodbye. So this is the first time that we've actually seen like stipulated things that they want to bring to the other household. And ironically, it's both food products. I'd take my dog. What are we gonna eat? Oh, there's a full <laughs> pantry in there. Not a pantry vlog. This season has reintroduced us to the concept of a pantry vlog. Aren't you all happy about that? No. Oh, oh goodbye. Don't be very angry I'm going to live with the gays. <laughs> Bye, family. Can't believe you're taking these. What am I going to use? <laughs> oh, He's not taking them, is Phones he? Phones are handed over. Mind you, he is a personal trainer, so I would assume that some level of, like, passion for the gym needs to remain. Let's see how you survive without this. Yeah, I know. Without your TikTok. She's going to do a TikTok, nice. girls. TikTok queen. Get that creative Just be fun. yourself. Be strong. You'll be fine. Yeah. Bye, Mom. See you soon. I do wonder I how it's going to go. I have interesting have feelings. Have fun. Have fun. This show is kind of a couple of years old, so we didn't quite have that wave of anti-LGBT like stances just yet. This is like 2018, 2019, I believe. So we didn't have that like huge backlash yet, but I don't really, is New Zealand very like LGBT friendly? I don't know a lot about like New Zealand's policies on the LGBTQIA folk, but like I have friends who've been and I have friends who live there and it doesn't seem bad. I mean, I guess everywhere kind of has its problems. And the UK at the moment is just like literally turf island. Oh, you're gonna miss me. <laughs> it's gonna be terrible for you. Yeah, remember. Oh. Be nice, be nice. Bye bye. Bye, see ya. Mm. Goodbye. Neither partner has any clue about where they're going. Oh yes, of course. I'm just no, having this mixed emotions of uh, leaving behind and... Do you reckon they're gonna be like, hi, I'm in a gay relationship? Or do you think it'll be like, is she gonna find out that she's like, and what does your wife do? Well, top me. <laughs> oh my, Michelle. <laughs> oh no, not gay jokes, no say. Feeling excited to go somewhere. Come this far now, it's like, <laughs> can't turn back. <laughs> no. Well, I mean, Before you could be like, I'm leaving. Family. Get out of the Joy car. Rupal get a chance to be home alone and do a sport. Oh my sport. God. I've just realised, on the other hand, it's like this Christian guy is suddenly going to have a husband for the week. <laughs> ah, fascinating. Speculation. Is he just going to be like, who is this man in my house? Wow. Where am I going to go? Down here. Okay. I'm very intrigued about no sort of furniture in here. Oh, I'm all nervous. Stop it. Are we going to see a hate ah. crime? <laughs> That's really nice, beautiful. Oh, look. Wow, that looks royal. Bijou. Oh my God, I don't know how to use this machine. Aha, uh -huh, there's oh, a child. Oh, she's gonna have a princess. A princess week, isn't she? So that's one kid. Mm. A child. The wine cellar. Seriously? Oh my God. A wine cellar? Someone working in the movies, actors, health conscious, uh, or someone, some designer or model. This is a master room. I assume it does. I think that's it. So I just want to get this out, so... One child, one other bedroom. Dogs again. Wow. Championship oh, wow. certificate. Oh, the dog's certificate. So the dog is a champion. Oh, I better start loving dogs. Oh, hello. there's money in dogs. Oh, dog. my God, hello. Oh, little Bethina. Oh, you're beautiful. I can smell dogs and look at their beds. Oh my god. They are big beds. Seriously? 
I have to look after dogs. I like small, cute ones. These are like half men size, and I'm sure there are no kids, which is really making me sad because they would have actually helped me calm. Both John and Rupal have written detailed manuals with the rules of the household explained. For the I suppose all, the, yeah, she does only have to like stay with one person for the week. I wonder how the rules are going to be changed. How she's going to change any rules. Because it's just like a guy. It's two days they must follow these rules, but then they get a chance to impose their own. Hi there, my name is Rupal Salanki. Welcome to the Salanki's Nest. My family is the made nest, up of girls. my loving husband, Sharag, our handsome man, Sidraj, and our beautiful Bengal cat, Rexy. We have a fairly traditional parenting style. We expect high levels of respect amongst each other. My name is John Bowick. I live with my partner of nearly 28 years. Okay, so he's come out via text. Rested! Gary with us. Oh my God, are you serious? No. That I have not had much experience of uh, knowing closely any gay couples, but I have. I know some people that I've laid... I, only after talking to them and seeing how sweet and friendly they are that I got to know that, oh, they are gay. And I was like, oh, you're so handsome. Both Chirag and... Was that a good reaction or was that a bad reaction? So there she said she's had friends that she's realised are gay and then she's gone, oh, you're so handsome. Is that a positive reaction? I don't feel like that's positive. More investigation required. Is this going to be an explosive episode? Is that what you're here for? The tea? I know it! You're so handsome. Both Sharag and Sidraj love their meat and veggies. However, I am more into traditional Indian cooking. Yay. My passion is for cooking and fitness. <sighs> I have had a recipe book published in conjunction with another chef oh, and wow. I still teach aerobics at two different gyms in Auckland. Dinner is smoked tuna salad. It looks easy, but I'm sure it's not easy because I don't know how to cook all these things. Sidraj. Has sub she doesn't seem very happy, does she? She kind of seems a bit like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. Mm. Right on Thursday, it gets ready for swimming that starts at 4.30. Finish day, gets ready for swimming that starts at 4.30. Finishes at 5 p.m. After shower, goes to drum class. Finishes drum at 6 p.m. Goes to Eden Roskill. Wow. For cricket training. Wow, that's a long day. That is Luther a long day is for approaching a child. two years of age, and last year was the top winning dog of his breed in New Zealand. I thought there is some celebrity in the house. Every day we pick up the dog poo mm. and make sure there is always fresh, clean water in their various bowels. This is totally out of expectation. What I'm what I've seen here, like two big dogs and a gay couple. So yeah, totally out of my comfort zone. Hopefully that's not a problem. The wait is over, and now it's time for John and Rupal to meet their new families. <laughs> Why do I feel I'm getting a similar sort of vibe? Do you remember when we were watching There's Something About Miriam in the early episodes, and it was just kind of like that general sense of unease? I, I don't know why, but I know like acceptance and integration is like the goal of life here on this planet, but it always feels like when the point of a show is a gay couple swaps with a straight couple, but only one of them. I just feel like it's a breeding ground for tension. She's got a point. She's an icon. She's a legend. And she is the moment. Now, come on now. Hello. Hi. Oh, hi. Hello. I'm John. Hi, John. I'm Chirag. Hi, Chirag. Gagged. Hello. Hi, Siraj. Hi, Siraj. Nice can to call meet me you. Sid. I'll call you Sid. Yeah. That's much easier. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> welcome home, I should say. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Beautiful place. Oh, thank you so much. And did you look around? I have done, yes. Oh, good, Could good. his thank eyebrows you. go any higher? Hello. Hello. I'm Gary. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Rupal. Rupal. Yes. What a lovely name. Who this said? is Lily. Hi, Lily. And this is Luther. Oh, what oh lovely, God, calm Luther, dogs. you are big. <laughs> Luther, come and say hello. Come on. Oh, is he a bit like, Jesus. no, I'm frightened. <laughs> Are you shy? Hello? He is until he gets to know you. Oh, that okay. dog. He'll be sitting on your lap. Oh. Do you like oh, dogs? I've never experienced dogs, and not <laughs> these big. 
I didn't expect this and I didn't expect these huge dogs silently moving around in the house. Luther was like a small horse in Very the house. Very well behaved. He's so gentle and Lily is like so sweet. I'm scared I'm not in, I'll get into dogs now. <laughs> Fair You're going to get, yeah, three years back when we got the floor done, uh, but then we do theatre. Oh, did you, did you, did you know yes, there? I have been reading that. Right, so, so this is your performance. This, this is more of a recent place. I was a little bit anxious because it could have gone either way, but it was totally the opposite. It was very really smiling, and I think he looked quite relieved. Yeah, I wasn't in a frock or anything like that. Yeah. Is he a cross dresser? Oh dear. <laughs> So for, for dinner tonight, um, do you have anything that you prefer to have made for you? Anything for us? Uh, we are fine with anything. And since you just mentioned that you used to run a catering company, mate, we got a master chef in the house. He is talking at very high volume, isn't he? Would we say grace before food? Is that like, all right? With you? Wow, you to, a yes? chef! You say grace because okay. I wouldn't know what to say. That's all right. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful house, and thank you for this wonderful people around us, and thank you for the wonderful food. And she seems lovely. Not what I was expecting. I thought maybe she'd be some ogre that was homophobic and uh, dog-hating, but she seems not to be. <laughs> I mean, problematic language there. You can't expect everyone's going to be hateful, but I also do understand the idea of being a minority and thinking, oh, is everyone out to get me? Because sometimes it kind of feels that way. So I don't necessarily agree with calling people ogres, but yes, I think in an environment like this, especially when it comes to a production company wanting like the best drama for views, of course they would be involving someone who potentially could create that drama and create those views. All going well? Fantastic, yeah, all going to plan. We never, we never cut on a carrot so long. You do or don't normally? We don't. Oh, okay. As a dad, I was a bit worried that how would my son yeah. see a new person in the house? Demons. He's happy. For him, it's like, boy zone. Let's have fun. I'm just feeling very worried still about Chirag and Sidraj. I just feel as if, can I just make a phone call or at least I know they're doing all right or at least Sidraj or if you know I can talk to him. Next on Wife Swap. Interesting, interesting. Is she a bit panicked that there's a gay person living in their house potentially and she wants to talk to her son? Uh, mm, I mean so far it's actually quite tame. So far this could have gone any which way either way. Sure the language is a little bit like mm, but this is a high tension situation so I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments box below already, my lovelies, because I'm nervous still. I don't think I'm going to stop being nervous until we stop this show. It's day two in the wife swap day houses. Day two, and girls. And pal's got a lot of ground day to cover as she starts the morning chores. Right. Every day, I know vacuuming is a good exercise, but John vacuuming this whole house every day. No wonder he's in aerobics and all those things. I'm already tired. <laughs> That is a large house to be cleaning is by this one enough, person. Really? It's my idea of dogs is like they're going around everywhere. They're drooling and dribbling and maybe some of them are shedding fur as well. But if you do this every day to do the mopping and cleaning, yeah. I think it, even the owners like who lives would feel good and fresh when they come home in the evening. Luther, are you inspecting what I just did? <laughs> is the house clean enough now? <laughs> He's like, no, I'm scared. Pick up the dog poo. You need to show me where you have pooed. Oh. Is that dog poo? White? Or is this a rock? <laughs> oh, God. Ah. Ah. Do I pick it up all? My God, I'm, it's in the grass. I'm not going to pick it up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Can't be yeah, this is why I don't want big dogs. No, thank you. No, my little biscuit boy. You have done this. Mm. It would be better if there was a way to train them to be like, you have this little area in the garden to always go in so that it's relatively easy and straightforward to clean up. Like a specific patch of grass that's a different color to the other grass so that the dog could be like, that's my potty. John's also on. I think when I have a garden, that's what I'll try and teach Biscuit to do. Housework duties and getting his head around Sid's exhaustive schedule of after-school activities. Right. 
This afternoon is pretty busy. I will pick Sid up from school and then we'll come home and I'll I love a sleepless eat, hoodie. And then he'll get changed into his karate outfits. Pretty long day. Uh, I think he finishes about just before 8 p.m. And then I want to feed him <laughs> when I get home. <laughs> Gary and I have never really had that exposure on how much time a child could be structured. So that's very interesting. It'd be nice to talk to Sid one to one and just find exactly how he copes. With the housework all done, the next yeah. task for Rupal is very special indeed as she and Lily make their ring debut. Dog She's training! Off to a flying oh star. my god. So this is her first time out. She's only just got over her inoculation, so she's allowed out now. Okay. He's come for the ride, but mm. hopefully he'll show you what to do. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> and hopefully... I can't imagine trying to wrangle a Great Dane. So this is the first time she will ever do something in Absolutely, yeah. So the first oh, yeah, thing so that we need to do when we're, yes, when we're showing a dog sense. is the dog is always on your left-hand side. What we're trying to achieve is not a walk. I used to do all of this, believe it or not. I was a junior handler and I've even been to Crufts. Can you believe that? Obviously not showing myself. I was showing my old dogs, Bubbles and Casper. No. They were little Bichon Frise. Little tiny balls of fluff. Completely different personalities to Mr. Biscuits. What we're wanting to see is a nice gait, well, like a trot. Quite and that gives the best movement for the dog okay. in, in a confirmation ring. All right, let's go. That lead is very tight. So, right. so quick run, <laughs> keep going. Wow. So start running with her. I guess That's they need it. to be, don't they, when they first run. OK, and then just relax your left hand because it's a bit tight on her throat. When I came and I saw Luther and Lily, they look like two big kids moving in the house. And especially Luther, just standing next to me is like, you know, I'm having some really older boy next to me standing and Lily just playing around. It's just, I feel, um, they are like, like kids. A family and dynamic. Especially the way Gary and John have kept them in the house oh. on open and just changed the whole concept for me. But I think staying for one week with two big dogs means I feel I've done half the course of how to handle a dog. Lovely. Fantastic. Look at you being the pro. <laughs> <laughs> if we get a dog, the first thing Big. that I teach Sidraj, you should be ready to pick up the poo. And I can teach him because I've become an expert in that now. I can see the poo from far away. For John, he's on. I'd quite like to stop hearing about poo, please. Thank you. For Sid. How's your day been? It was good. Yeah. Was it pretty good? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. It's been busy. Yeah. Well, it ain't over. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh yes, his busy day. What is it? Swimming, karate, yeah. baseball? For this time I've gone without mum, yeah. I am a singer, but John's been taking me around the activities and we talk to each other in the car a lot and we think we're friends now. So far, so good. Everyone's so accepting in this dynamic, actually. I'm really surprised. The only person that perhaps has said something, even a modicum of problematic, is Rupal when she said, oh, you're gay, oh, but you're handsome. You know, that's the only sort of problematic thing we've heard so far, and we're almost halfway through. So this could be a great representation. My perception, when it, certainly when I first arrived and, and looked at how much I was going to have to drive him everywhere uh, for the amount of activities, I was a bit concerned that it was put on him. But he clearly just wants to do all of it, and there's nothing wrong with that. But there is a certain point of time I feel just observing that, not maybe bang, 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 three or four events after each other. You just need chill out time and... Yeah, yeah that is a lot, man. isn't it? Is that every Home day? Home from dog training, Rupal and Gary get a chance every for day. a chin wag. So tell me about your religion. Every day? We are Christians. Yeah. But I don't like to say that. I would say we are followers of Jesus. Okay. I read in your notes that you were also born and John was also born yeah. in a Christian family, but you haven't been to a church. I just wanted to know why don't you go to church? To have that belief in something yeah. is, you know, it's, an, it's just an extra crutch in a way, something else you can hang on to to get through life. You and me sitting like this and having a chat, it was planned Meant long. to happen. Meant to happen. I was meant to get a new wife this week. <laughs> <laughs> I was never religious even before I really knew I was gay, so... First time we've heard the word gay. Interesting concept here about religion. I was raised... I was raised in my family household as not religious, but the, all of the schools I went to growing up were very religious, and I actually have a bit of religious trauma associated with it. I feel like now as a scientist and as an adult, I've been around the, I've been around the block, I've been around the planet a few times, I've been around the sun a few times, I know what I'm doing. I personally will say, I don't believe in God. I don't 
I'm not even agnostic. I just don't believe in God. I feel like organized religion has its issues, but I always say if you have a personal relationship with whatever deity it is that gives you strength in your day-to-day -day life to make just, you know, living on this planet easier, then you do you, sis. You do you. I would have thought religion and if you believe in God, you just believe in love. And what people do in bed is their own affair. And why would anybody want to be involved in what I do in bed? Why is that important to them? The Bible says there's a lot of things, yes. as you know. And I know that you know a lot about the Bible. Well, And no, sometimes knowing a lot No, I is... don't. I don't know a lot. But I do know that the Bible says a man shouldn't lay with another man. OK. Mistranslation, 1946. Do not judge others. Jesus, cre God created human beings. You are a human being. I am. You are a man. Most of the time, Mama. Human. Then why are you concentrating on that particular line? So you can pick out the bits you like. I'm not saying you pick out the bits you like. You pick out the bits you best can give to God the best part of you that you can give to God. That's a it's very not... tricky answer, no. very good answer. When I got to know that the house that I'm going to be in is a gay couple's house, the first day was very difficult for me. In the morning when I woke up, I was, I just thought to myself, Gary's just a normal human being and how about I get to know more about it? Maybe this was the reason I wanted to get to know. Maybe God put this, you know, that I need to know some gay couple. Well, she's got, yeah. she's she's got, got some like self-reflection. Okay, you miss the hymns. All that is important, it's, it's like a recipe. You need to put the salt and you need to put the pepper and you need to put the curry paste and everything. It's the rule change tomorrow. And so therefore, I've got a feeling I'm going to be singing hymns tomorrow. Yes. I'll make you a promise. The first time I go to church, I will text you. And I say, I'm here. Yeah. yeah. You can't text from the church. Oh, can I? You oh. can take your phone, but you can't. I just want to say, we're not brand new. No one on this planet of a certain age is brand new. We know how religion has felt for the longest time about people who do not fit the mold that that religion suggests they should. And quite often that has been the LGBTQ community and we have been persecuted by religion and there is a lot of religious trauma with LGBTQ people. Therefore, I think suggesting that they should go to church is actually a negative for me. If you out there had a bad experience with uh, a specific building or congregation of people and someone else around you said, you should give them another go, go back and see them. No, not for me, do not agree. <laughs> Can't I? No. If a gay person goes to church, you should feel happy about that, that no matter what. He's coming to church. He's he wants to have a conversation with God. He he, he wants to be one to one. You can have a conversation no one has with the God right everywhere. to be the middle person and say, "Oh, you can't," because he says no. It's 8 p.m. and John and Sid are only just getting home. With John being here, it's been great actually. I feel as if a cousin from India has come over and lived with me. And uh, yeah, it's been a great team among all three of us. Oh. I hope he's enjoying the stay. I hope that. But for me and Sid, if I can speak on behalf of Sid, it's been great. I mean, so we're enjoying the food. He's Beautiful. so relaxed about everything. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's fun. I don't oh, mind staying a bit longer. God, thank you so much for the wonderful family. The fruit change tomorrow. I won't be anxious. I won't be worried about it. Yeah, t uh, talking about rule changes, apart from the other house being introduced to religion, I don't really feel like there's going to be like huge changes, do you? It's not like RuPaul can say, oh, get rid of the dogs. Like, that's obviously not going to happen. And I don't know what's going to happen here. I feel like we're going down the storyline of um, Sid needs to be doing less after school activities. Do you get that vibe? So far, still tame. Couple of confusing bits, but still tame, you know. No. I'll just do it as it comes, and if I can do that, I'll do it. If I feel that's not me, then I might not. Thank you so much. Amen. Oh. <laughs> Let's listen to that again. I'll just do it as it comes, and if I can do that, I'll do it. If I feel that's not me, then I might not. Thank Don't worry, he's not going to top you, sis. Oh my God. It's rule change day. It's and rule change day, and John girls. I'm quite ambitious in plans. It. Actually, I was really looking forward to today. Just That's get Gary out of his comfort zone. He is going to be a bit um, uncomfortable because some of the rules are like that. Maybe I'll, I'll look like a monster trying to get him do this, you know, sort of. No, we will do this now, you know. But I'm really looking forward well, to it. Well, as long as it's not just like religion <laughs> heavy, then I think it will be fine. Quite excited, actually. Not major changes, but just a few 
sort of um, elements that need to be in the house and yeah. a constructive point of view from, from my, myself. A constructive point Gary, of view from I had outside. a great okay. time and I really, really like how welcoming and kind you have been. But now I'd like you to go out of your comfort zone a bit. I personally think no meal is complete without roti and rice. So oh. rule number one is I am going to teach you how to cook an Indian feast. Oh, delicious. To serve up to your friends in the weekend. Oh my God. Shrug, I've noticed. Oh yes, no, because his partner does all the cooking, doesn't he? So, oh, I'll show him a thing or two. I don't really do any cooking. Um, so I have bought a cookbook and the recipes are really bomb proof. And, um, Is it your cookbook? Yeah, I would like for you to cook for the next two nights for seven nights. Okay, so, that's sensible. I, be... I feel like every adult on the planet, especially if they have a family, should know how to cook because you never know when something happens and it's just like, oh, I have to cook now. I feel like being able to prepare even the most basic of a nutritious meal is a fundamental human skill that we need to have. So yes, happy with that. I think that's a very sensible rule change to be like, surprise, learn to cook. It'd be great because you, you'll have fun. The whole point of actually having to do the actual exercises. So and it's very like family oriented. For cooking. report in particular when she I love cooking. I love cooking when I've got my boyfriend over and we want to cook something together. It's so lovely. I absolutely love it. Love it, girls. She's doing a lot of the um, dropping offs and picking ups in terms of the activities that Sid's involved with because um, I've had a taste of it. I am going to teach you a Bollywood dance routine. Okay. Yeah. Little dancing. We are going to perform it together oh, no. for your friends during our Indian feast. Oh my god. Okay, yes, this I've isn't this, this, this is completely different to how I expected. I have to eat my simply because I'm kind of a pessimist. I've mentioned it before. I'm either always right or pleasantly surprised the life of a pessimist. So I'm really glad that so far it just seems like fun. Everything's about fun and that's that's what I feel like we don't see enough in these shows because I'm still a bit like, oh, what's gonna happen? Anxiety! But it just seems to be like, and then we have some food and maybe a little dance. Like, that's really nice, actually. Looking for them and hey, Oh, look, the dog's like, stop doing dog. all that, play with me. It might be a different matter. They might have a good laugh at that. I'm sure they will. Yes. Hey, Giggle at Gary time. Uh, tomorrow we're going to be doing that, an activity, yeah. um, boys' time, mm -hmm. and I won't let you know about what we're going to be doing. He likes surprises anyway. Yeah, I guess. He likes but it's, it's definitely boys' time. Okay. If I could choose Ooh. one thing to do tomorrow, it would be bowling. It's pretty fun. Bowling? Something that's really important to me is being thankful for all the blessings we are given in everyday life. Okay. It would be a great idea to see you try making this a part of your day-to-day -day life. Okay. So the new rule is, we'll say a grace before every meal and a short prayer each time we leave the house to ask God that wherever we go, we get there safely and come back home safely. So that's going to start right now because... That feels a little bit superstitious. But, I don't know, a rule change forcing people to pray when they aren't part of a religion does feel a bit encrosive on personal freedoms. But I guess that's the point of this show, to put people out of their comfort zones. I don't know, you wouldn't catch me doing it. We are going to go Indian grocery shopping okay. for our Indian feast. That, however, Fantastic. totally up for. <laughs> Love that. Definitely wouldn't do it by choice. None of those things. Um, None of them? Praying. You know, I'll go through the motions. Yeah. <laughs> There's no skin off my back, you know. Yeah, we'll go for it. Let's do it. So that's moon dog. Oh, oh I do yeah. love Indian food. Like Indian cuisine, and girl. Spices and depth of flavour. Um, but that's the bundi here. So that's the chaat masala. That's rasgulla that Chirag likes to eat. Bunch of coriander. <laughs> coriander, girls. I have no idea what we bought, but I'm sure it's going to look good. Excuse me. Do you have a small bag of basmati rice? rice? Garam means hot, doesn't it? Oh, I'm exhausted all this shopping. Oh, you see not shop. Yay, we did Indian shopping. I don't know, you could be a bit more interested, yeah. Gary. It's quite exciting. You get to Across learn something, a new skill. To pass on some skills to first-time cook Sheree. OK, new skill. John, very thoughtful. Completely agree Now we have to hold hands. My hand in the kitchen. Little kisses for the chefs. For last 15 odd years, I've enjoyed my evening until the guests come and I've seen my wife tired just when the party starts. Yes, like that's that true. 
to her. I do feel like family hosted dinner parties should involve everyone. You know, I don't feel like there should ever be like one person just doing everything because that's like house staff as opposed to like a family effort, girls. And I'll take right, we have onions, judge. mushrooms, celery. First time in my life I will start What is he making room? sandwiches? Just make sure that it's cleared of any um, uh, pens. When Chirag didn't even know that there was a, an actual power switch to turn on the wall to get the oven going. It was oh dear, quite a, a no, you have to be able to cook at least one to meal for yourself. So, um, yeah, no. <laughs> there you go. Oh, nice song. Bingly bingly bong. Death! Meanwhile, RuPaul's on choreography duties. Oh! Down. Up. Down. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Free yourself up, girl. Up. Down. Okay, the hand movement goes like this, as if you are, yes. You're holding something and he's not too much into dancing. He loves musical though, but himself dancing and that to Bollywood. I think I've just pushed him to the extreme to yeah, get out it, of well, his comfort I suppose zone. it is quite out of a comfort zone, isn't you it? You look cute. Oh, doing that. I don't know why. I feel like this whenever I'm also in the situation, but like there's something about like Caucasian people that always manage to look so uncomfortable when being able to do anything new. I am including myself in that because I'm often uncomfortable at the best of times, so anxiety's a funny demon, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I think she's been very kind to me, to be honest. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm good with that. They'll, well, you're fresh starting. Can't be an expert come, instantly. But that's good. I'm sure we'll be rehearsing all evening just to get it right. We can finish with that, actually, with the clap. We we'll finish. That's yeah, the finish. With the clap, yeah. oh, I'm a Bollywood dancer. <laughs> A <laughs> Was that good, Luther? Luther there to I judge. I can't multitask ever. I wonder how... Oh, I love uh, spinach! Have, like, two dishes happening. The same time she checks on Sidra that he's doing her maths homework or not. Spinach. I keep on shouting with her <gasps> when I need my socks or want my shirt to be ironed because I'm going out for a meeting. And she does all together, so... Hmm. I wonder how she does it. I think I feel that women are more empowered than men. What do you say? That's... Perfection. What You've done it? a great job, Shirai. A pie? Aha! It was a lovely day today. Uh, we did a lot of things. And we had a lot of time on hand as well. It was very adventurous. But I don't know why today uh, I've been thinking a lot about Siddharaj and Chirag and especially Siddharaj. I think it's just been so many days I haven't seen him and I. She clearly Kevin loves her family very much. And I know it's just a matter of few more days to go, but... <laughs> I think it's getting a bit too much now. Oh. Oh, Coming that's next kind of sad, isn't it? it? is, I mean, I can understand that it is only a few days, but also, like, I don't have children, so I don't know. I, mind you, I actually miss Biscuit immediately as soon as he's gone anywhere, so, yeah. Bollywood, here we come! <laughs> But right, here we go. It's the first day of the new rules. First the school goes. run's done, and John and Shirag are getting personal. So oh. you have been exposed to, like, like even, even Sid. Like, has he had any interaction with other gay people um, prior to me moving into your home? I don't think he has even realised that you are gay. OK. Because you, to him, you don't look, look like that gay character. OK. You look like a macho character. OK. Oh! wait until he finds out about Circuit Queens. <laughs> I do find it funny that a lot of people's uh, traditional stereotype ideas about what gay people are like is interesting because it's clearly a fed narrative that's quite outdated because apart from like the fairies that I know, <laughs> I know some pretty strong macho gay guys that, um, yeah, no say. So for him is like another great sportsman in the house. Okay. You Best player and that's why he's so comfortable with you. Oh, okay. John is the first gay guy with whom I would have talked at this length. He would have, must be the first gay guy How in this know? household. Uh, he must be the first gay guy whom Sidraj would have interacted, but he's normal to us. For me and John, 
I think we, we enjoyed the time together. Uh, if I have to share an offense personally, in 2004, there was the first bill to be going to the parliament about de facto relationships of gay. Yes. Uh, I was one of the guy who would go on the street to, stay, to take the signatures to say, stop this. Okay. <gasps> I was one of the guys. Oh no, that's quite a revelation, wasn't it? I was just about to pause and say, it sounds like his opinions have come from a place of just simply not knowing any gay people, but actually to go and campaign against marriage equality and to go and campaign against what a relationship can be is a step further than being ignorant, in my opinion. Oh. I was one of the guys. I don't think you will choose to sort of go off to like a gay club or gay bar. Gay just church, find out maybe. About what info. Uh, that's not going to happen. But I, th I think he's probably a bit more willing to learn more in, in terms of that. I hope so. Day, I hope there's personal it's all development. About, that's um, all we can really ask for of these people that perhaps don't really know anyone who is of a different lifestyle persuasion is that open-mindedness leads to an open heart. That's kind of all we can ask for, isn't it? Although, when it comes to those people who have spread hate for years and years and years, I'm not saying that anyone in this show has, but I'm just going to simply state right now that anyone who has made it their life's mission to make LGBT lives harder and almost impossible to live, I do not want equality from them. I want revenge. Liking people for, for them, not for what they do behind their closed doors. You know, I'm certainly not interested in what they do. Across town, preparation. There is a lot of conversation about like behind closed doors and things, which I do understand because I feel like if you're doing anything like explicit and adult, that kind of, you know, you can keep that in your house. You can keep that behind a door, so to speak. You can keep that in your boots, wow, girls. But like casual moments of affection aren't explicit, but also I don't think they should be reserved for just behind doors. I will hold my boyfriend's hand. I mean, I'm a trans woman and I have a passing privilege, some might say, and I will happily hold my boyfriend's hand no matter where we are in the world, I will also kiss him. But even previously, in pre-transition relationships, I would be quite fearless with holding my partner's hand, regardless of how I was being perceived by the public. And that quite often didn't go down well. But also, I will not hide who I am. And it is not explicit to hold hands. And that's the Darjeeling. Full swing for an ambitious right, Indian feast. Oh, a feast. A feast. Mm. I'm such a good cook. That's lovely. It is, eh? Mm. Yeah. What and what it? did we do? It was so simple. Well, I wouldn't say it's Should simple. I put more of this? <laughs> Do you want to? Would you normally? What do you think? Does it taste like that? I can taste it. Yeah. It should just taste not, oh, but like that. Is there a certain Ooh. level of satisfaction in making it from scratch? What is it? I'd love What's to say that? yes. Okra? Oh that looks like okra. <laughs> yeah, um, maybe. What? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> yeah, um, maybe. Maybe. I can give it a maybe. <laughs> If you want to sprinkle this salt, okay. the okra. Okay, salt. Salt on the okra. The way you're putting the salt, I know you've never put <laughs> Gently like How'd you this. Put... <laughs> Is that it? What? what else did you do? <laughs> a delicate <laughs> hand, not just la la. <laughs> it's quite nice to make things at home rather than Indian food we have a delivery. So it's not quite the same, as lovely as it is, but... No, well, well, no, of but... course not. Of course it's not going to be the same, because quite often, takeaways have to accommodate for the palate of the local community, shall we say, which is why in the UK, any time someone goes viral on TikTok for ordering a British Chinese takeaway, and they see chicken balls, chips, gravy, people who cook legitimate Chinese food will always be like, what the f back rolls is that? And that's right, because the local palate does kind of, for lack of a better word, bastardize food to fit its like taste levels. So that kind of what happens. So of course, like home cooked food is always going to taste different, but more authentic than takeaway. Unless of course you go to like very specific authentic restaurants. I'll make some, I'll carry on. Good. But I might not make the roti. I might get it pre-made. Roti is the, the bread. The smallest roti yes. ever is what our guests are going to witness. Someone called for? 
John's encouraging some family bonding at the Solanke's. Oh, or will it be up there? Bowling girls, <laughs> boys day out at the bowling. I love the fact that Gary's outfits are all sleeveless. He's like, I want to show off my muscles at any moment. I love that so much. That's so sweet. And what about you, Sajaj? Four or five? Five. I think we'll try five at them. Thank you. That's for you, John, five. what size you on? I'm like... a size 11. 11. Big foot. Very delicate Polynesian feet. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, good afternoon. It's fully night out. Pretty fun. I'm all right at it. But yeah, I'm pretty... I find it funny. I do find it funny when, like, straight men are confronted with gay guys who are for every, like, essence of the word, more masculine than them. I kind of love that. It's so... If I really go into, like, where my brain goes, it's kind of like abomination territory. And I kind of love it. Because <laughs> you just know somewhere out there, these hateful right wing people who are like five foot one with size three feet being like, oh, I'm an alpha male. And then they see a gay couple that are literally like six foot five, roided out of their minds, size 13 feet, just fully in love with each other. And the littler guys always get upset about it. I don't know, it just kind of, it really tickles me. Cause I'm just like, you're upset. You're so upset. Aww. I'm pretty Oh, relatable. Okay, Tim, you need to be really kind to me because I, I haven't done know. this before. Um, not done bowling, wow. Enough. So you'd be able to show me some, you know, skills and techniques. Bowling yes. destroys my nails, so I never do it. Oh, did you see that leg tactic? Oh, dead. She needs the barriers up. Time for a bowling montage. Nobody else is at the lanes. <laughs> Me and Dad had to help John with the tactics, but he did really, really good. Yeah. Come back. Spare. <laughs> a woman. Hey, well done. Right, who's so, the winner? Enjoyed. Sidraja enjoyed. John had a first time on the bowling, so even he enjoyed, and he thinks that he's going to go to a bit of a. Camp in bowling again, so we had a great time. Okay. RuPaul and Gary. That was kind of an interesting rule change, though, wasn't it? It's like the rule change is we're going bowling. Oh my. Sure. Nervous for different reasons as guests arrive for lunch. Oh yeah. I was quite nervous actually for this lunch date with friends. I didn't know what the friends are like and if they would like Indian food and. Oh, all eight foot tall transvestites. This curry. It's called vegetable sabji in Indian. Vegetable it's okra sabji. and potato. That's ladyfinger and potatoes. This is lentils. Then if you is lucky enough to get a non-round roti, that's scary. Yeah, <laughs> 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 oh, clocked yeah, at the pageant. So, I knew they would love RuPaul. It's, you know, she's lovely. Why wouldn't you? And they loved her. And basically this type of food is perfect for Saturday afternoon because you are expected to go and have a nice nap. Afterwards? Yes, it will make you feel sleepy, so that's normal. Don't feel scared. Yeah. They just were so welcoming and they were so happy to see me and uh, they wanted to know about me, they wanted to know about my lifestyle. Oh, and, this has been um, quite they lovely. They about the cooking that I did yeah. and I gave them a small introduction of what the cooking was and things like that, yeah, it was nice. Okay, guys, so one of the rule changes... I have absolutely no idea how I'm going to title this video because I so thought it was going to go a completely different way than it is, and I'm really happy that it's going that way because sometimes I can be a bit of a negative Nelly who's always got the worst expectations. I think I'll call this, like, gay wife swap. <laughs> that will probably get the views, to be honest. This that RuPaul um, gave me was that oh, I had heavenly to learn light. an Indian dance, which, you know, horrified the life out of me. <laughs> right. Uh, but we... We've got something, haven't we? Time have to we? perform. Yeah. Yeah. You've been a good student. I've I have. been a good teacher. Yeah, you can go Come on, girls. <laughs> They've seen me do a lot worse. <laughs> yeah, the dance wasn't the problem. They've seen me do a lot. I mean, the thought is lovely but I don't think he has any rhythm. The dance we performed was just amazing. It was so oh, good. Oh, at least she's really the positive about way it. We both were like, you know, going on the beat and, you know, not missing out anything. And I think they loved it. 
<laughs> Bollywood, here we go. I think, oh, that would have been really cute if like everyone got up and had a bit of a join in. Because it does feel a little bit like perform. I don't know. You know what I mean? I feel like it's less anxiety inducing when everyone's involved, you know? But I guess that's the point of the rule change, isn't it? <laughs> it's clearly a warm night at the Solanke's. An incredible week. Uh, oh. Big titty lady videos on the internet. Different experiences and... Um... Am I allowed to show male nipple on YouTube? Yeah, going home tomorrow, which I'm really, really excited about. Uh, can't wait to see Gary and the fair children. I'll miss all this. I'll miss the dogs. I'll miss this beautiful house. It is a beautiful house. My sleep-ins. <laughs> and I'll miss everything, I think. What a lovely experience. Oh, the I'm families glad. come face to face. Nick. All right, are you ready for the explosive family meeting? Which might not be explosive at all. It's the final morning, and both John and Rupal are packing to go. Take me, guys! I'm feeling very happy, very right. excited, and uh, a bit sad as well. Is that six rope? days, I was feeling so scared that I, how will I survive like six days out of my comfort zone? And six days have gone just so fast. The best thing I learned is not every person you meet is what you think they are. Yes. They can be kind, humble, and but they that can doesn't be make someone it who would want to know more about you. Mm -hmm. And you can actually sit with them and have oh, a chat. I love it's not outfit. so difficult. If you will, and if you think you want to, you can sit and talk. Can I just say, luggage is so pissing expensive. I've just recently bought like a new set of luggage because I haven't ever had like ones with wheels on before. I just carry a duffel bag whenever I go on holiday. I'm just like, Oh my God, why is luggage so expensive? I could not believe it. Anyone, and learn more about them. Like wheelie luggage, Looking too much. forward to reuniting with Gary and definitely seeing the fur children. Really okay. miss them. And I'm actually looking forward to meeting RuPaul. I've heard so much about her. I have missed Gary, but we'll probably be talking forever when I get home. And, I, keep uh, I keep hearing RuPaul <laughs> and I'm like, no, I don't think it's RuPaul. Comparing notes. I'd be really keen to know whether Rapal has had Gary in the kitchen cooking because that would be very, very helpful. Oh. So I'm going to say goodbye now. Thank yeah. you. Mind you, if my boyfriend had owned like a catering company, released a cookery book, all that, I'd be like, can you do the cooking, please? They're excited. I'll, I'll hand you a knife. Like, I don't know. Like, what? Stay Thanks here. for staying, yeah. I think you're an amazing boy. Thank you. Oh. High five. Yeah. You take care. Yeah, you too. Luther! <laughs> Lily! Are we understanding that that child didn't realise that this grown adult man on Wife Swap was gay? Is that the... Is, um, I think children have a pretty good vibe for like knowing and picking up on stuff, so I don't think it was a problem to that child. I'm leaving. I'm going Goodbye. home today. Aww. I'm going home. Bye-bye. See you. She's going, Luther. <laughs> She's going. You don't have to believe in everything that somebody else believes in, they have their own beliefs and you've got to allow those beliefs. Yes. Doesn't necessarily mean you share street. them, but accept them. And she's such a lovely girl, she's lovely. Um, how could you not like her? You've been so good, oh God. <laughs> yes, well, considering at the first, in the, during the first part of the week, she was like, oh, giant dogs, I'm scared. And then at the end, she's like, yes. Like, that's quite lovely to see. Right, here we go. Let's go. That'll be good memories. Yes, yes, definitely. Okay. And I'm sure one thing, Intimacy. John, is that she must be worried more about me. That yes. was I decent to you? Was I, well, uh, you know, uh, uh, how did I behave with you? And uh, was I nasty? And Oh, well, I can't imagine that. <laughs> oh, look, immediately overwhelmed. Oh, he's in a suit. Oh, that's kind of cute. Hello. Oh. Oh, amazing. <laughs> Are we not going to get a little gay kiss? Are you being fed well? Let me have a look. <laughs> Give me a twirl. Give me Maybe a twirl. Not. Oh, Maybe yeah, not. yeah. No, that's all right. You haven't starved. <laughs> <laughs> you survived without me. That's dangerous. <laughs> The families meet okay. for the first time. Hi, right. Hi, Hi John. Hi. Nice oh my God. to meet you. Chirag's been cooking. Are you serious? <laughs> Truly. You know what I cooked last night? Lamb Rex. Oh my he God. He did. Best job. 
Honestly, mm. amazing. You think this is the best story? Then Gary cooked Indian lunch for friends. Mm. For friends? Yes. Yeah, dinner. Yeah, lunch party is a feast. He and did. I love Indian. He I did roti Indian. dough from scratch and then he rolled it. Uh, one was a map of Australia, but that's <laughs> <laughs> I've got to say, she's quite bossy at times. I can vouch for that. <laughs> How does she go with the dogs? Amazingly well. I think you were slightly overall when you first met them. Yeah. Because one of them is quite big. And I've never lived with dogs. Oh, yeah. Never, that's... ever. But they are. Yeah. She wants one. But we had a good time, didn't we? We did. We had lots of fun. Yes. And you know what time this is for uh, me and Gary? Look at the time. It's oh, we passed that time though. Nap time. Oh yeah, nap time. We've been having <laughs> nap, yeah. we've been having naps. <laughs> we've been taking. Oh, I can't believe it. We're nap time. <laughs> nap time. We're busy. We're, we're, we're oh, we're just full on. We're full on. This is the time of activity. You would have not. To be honest though, that is a luxury of not having like children. Is that you do get like adult time in the afternoon to just be like, oh my god, do you know what? Maybe we'll have a nap. She's dead. Like in the mm, way my life goes, it's so busy it's picking full on. Full on yeah. It's full on, and and I. I I really do appreciate all parents that do that role, you know, in terms of making lunches, dropping the children off to school, picking them up, taking them off to activities. It's exhausting. I think we both should be very, very thankful to John. We both having our families, especially you having your family. Mm -hmm. We have never had anyone look after Sidraj or give him a comfortable time mm -hmm. or giving both of us space for 10 years. That's right. And also, yeah. you have to um, acknowledge that Sid was incredible to yes. accept that as well. Yeah. For first couple of seconds, I saw John there, so single parent. After a few minutes, uh, uh, when I came to know that uh, the person he's referring to partner is Gary, let's it sink, sank in. If I'm being honest, yeah, I was scared. What were you actually scared about, like, what was it? About his reaction. If he doesn't like something, he'll make sure he tells the other person, I don't like something, or I'm not comfortable somewhere. Yeah. I was straightforward. I'm sure John will vouch for that. I told him exactly uh, what, I'm, what my stands, where I stand, and uh, in, in his, he asked me a question about, uh, have you, do you have gay friends, or you know, have you met gay people? I said, no, basically, and where, am I, where I stand. So I did mention all that to him, and I think he appreciated that. I accept you, you, you being a Christian, and having a Christian faith, I think, is fantastic, as I said. And I think it's wonderful that you, you have that belief. And I really appreciate that. I don't, and I never will. And that's just me. That's right. And we just have to agree to differ on those sort of things. This is... I do kind of feel like the husband there was a little bit like, I don't have gay friends, and that's my stance. I don't even know gay people. I was a bit like, oh but said with a smile, that's almost a little bit more insidious than being like, I don't like gays. I don't know, little bit of a vibe. Am I picking up on a right vibe there or am I being negative? He hasn't said or done anything that makes me think otherwise. Maybe it's the case of like, not quite the right words to explain something in that situation, maybe? Oh, I don't know. The best thing that life has given us is people like you coming into our life and people telling like us, you. see, we are human beings and we are normal and we are lovely and you are lovely. That oh, is true. As soon as you meet after people, after this, like after we go home different. and maybe spend a couple Except. of hours or a couple of days, would you ever call up John and say hello? Would you keep that connection? I don't know about you and Gary, but uh, I will definitely call up John. <laughs> <laughs> So you will keep uh, that relationship. Uh, because because uh, We've already got a date planned. Yeah. <laughs> there's so many recipes I need to take from him. Thanks for looking after my wife. Oh, we're not shaking. We're hugging. Okay. <laughs> last time. Yeah, last and last time. And one more to come. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. We'll see you soon. He looked after me and you've not said I know. anything. Yeah, we had a good time. Thank I you loved so every minute of it. Thank you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And with that, it's home time. Uh, right. Are the rules changed like bowling for everyone? It. Yeah, it was really, really neat. Just a special time. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> God's dad you is go back. back again? Honestly. It, it'll have to be something completely different to, to what I've done. He wouldn't. <laughs> I'll have a few little demands. <laughs> <laughs> Super king bed, you know, comforter, <laughs> private ensuite. <laughs> Hi, Mom.
that we wouldn't child. have even trusted our family or means I wouldn't have left my son with my mom all you know because I know about him being brought up by just two of us mm. so I think uh, John has stole a heart there oh well my loves I've got some thoughts <laughs> Hello, little biscuit. So, my lovelies, I've got some thoughts about what we have seen today. What an interesting episode of Wife Swap. Again, actually quite a respectful episode. I did get a couple of off vibes, but... It could have just been me overlooking and overanalyzing certain situations because when I've been in those situations, quite often they've I've been right about them. So very interesting. This is the first time I've ever seen like gay representation on a show like this. And I think it was done quite nicely. I would have liked to have seen some actual like gay affection, but that's just me. <laughs> maybe they didn't feel comfortable doing that or maybe that's just not their relationship, which is also absolutely fine. Did you want to see any gay affection, Biscuit? No, I want to go to bed. This episode, however, did take a kind of different course in like the rule change vibe. Kind of similar to the last episode we watched where actually the families didn't do anything particularly dramatic. So the rule changes were more about experiences rather than you need to stop doing all that and do it the way that I say. Like we didn't see any of that. We saw a well-rounded like careful approach. Like when this was airing, I wonder what people's actual reactions were to it. Any New Zealand folk here in the audience how, what was your reaction to this kind of show being aired at the time, especially this episode? So my lovelies, let me know what you think about today's video in the comments box below because I'm a little bit at a loss for words. I feel like I've had my own kind of self-realization that perhaps things aren't as terrible as they are, but this is kind of an older show and we have seen a right-wing backlash to LGBT people at the moment since this show was filmed and aired in 2019. So... Let me know what you think. And with that, my lovelies, it's time for the Patreons. You can see yourself scrolling past on the screen right here, my loves. Yes, you can, little Biscatina. And I also want to say a massive hello and welcome to the brand new Patreons we have supporting here, the Chanel, my lovelies. I want to say hello to Jess Calabres, Claire Phelan, James A. Zangirl, Vicky Walsh, Evan Rice, Amber Jansen, Matthias Zimmer, Ice Cream for Breakfast, and Zanna. Thank you so much for joining the Patreon, you stunning women on the go. And if you want to support the Patreon and get access to a little bit of extra content over on the Patreon, my lovely, check the link in the description box below. And as always, I want to say a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons. Orko Samoji, Beebles32, Shell Herman, Christy Crownover, Christina Kyle, ContraPoints, Danielle, Elizabeth Stone, Eric Castillo, Fable and Flourish, Jamie Clark, Jen Martin, Jennabeth Herman, Jinwoo Choi, Caitlin Wright, Laura Jane, Les Banana, Lizette Cares, Millie Hammond, Min Min TM, Mariah Show, November. Paolo Rivera, Rubix.co, Ryan Vita, Slampire Queen, Steffi Tech, The Chaos Collective, Victoria Corella, and Zoe Sevier. And you know what, my lovelies? I'm gonna leave it on a pretty classic good note here. Oh my gosh, visited by heavenly light. Don't judge a book by its cover, even if some of the words perhaps are a little bit misguided. I feel like the majority of people we meet in our lives have their own thing going on and don't have a heart devoted to hate. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. Yes, little biscuit.